In this topic, we will be talking about designing an effective repatriation program. And we will be talking about the important topics which should be included in an effective repatriation program. Yani, wo kaun si aspects hain aur wo kaun si dimensions hain jinke upar organization ko topic wise apne repatriation program ko design karna chahiye aur uske upar phir unko kaam karna chahiye uh, taake jo repatriation process hai wo achche tarike se, behtar tarike se manage kiya ja sake. So let's take a look at what should be the topics which should be included in an effective repatriation program. The first topic which should be included in the repatriation program is the preparation, physical relocation and transi uh, uh, transition information and what the multinational is going to help in. So it should be communicated to the, uh, repa uh, to the repatriate uh, that uh, what the multinational is going to help in uh, physical relocation mein or transition phase ke andar wo kis tarah se uh, employee ko help karenge aur kitna contribute karenge uh, ye sab cheezein jo hain ye usko batani bhi jaiye aur ye aapke relocation, uh, repatriation program ke andar included bhi honi chahiye then the second important aspect of the repatriation program should include financial and tax assistance, including benefit and tax changes and loss of overseas allowance. Because uh, when a person comes back from an international assignment, the international assignment carries a number of benefits and allowances, which actually raise the person's um, uh, standard of living as well as the income that he earns. So this is a setback when a person comes back that they uh, have to manage and um, they have to, uh, uh, they, they get lesser amount of uh, money um, on, on the home country assignments. And this is something which needs to be adjusted and they need to be prepared for that. And then there, is go there are going to be tax changes uh, because when you move from one country to the other, we have discussed it in detail in the tax uh, uh, management uh, topic that how the tax uh, changes from one place to the other. And therefore, uh, in the repatriation program, the organization should provide the financial and tax assistance help uh, because the financials and the tax, both the things, they are going to change when the person comes back from an international assignment. Uh, then the third very important aspect and topic which should be included in the repatriation program and this is something that we have discussed in a, uh, in a great detail in the previous topics is the uh, re-entry position and career path assistance. Um, we have discussed that it is very important to build careers uh, for long term growth of employees as well as for development of global a pool of global leaders and therefore this should be a part of the repatriation program. Uh, then another aspect which we have already discussed is the reverse culture shock including family disorientation. So uh, the repatriation program should take into account, uh, to, should take this aspect into account uh, that they have to manage this reverse culture shock including uh, the family which is going to get disoriented because of the cultural change that they will experience because of change of culture from one place to the other. And that should be a topic which should be included in the repatriation programs. Uh, then another very important aspect for a person's peace of mind is that his children should be, children's education should be taken care of. If his children have education ठीक तरह से जो है वो planning हुई भी है और उन उसके बच्चों की education का ख्याल रखा जा रहा है तो ये एक ऐसा aspect है जो के एक इंसान को बहुत peace of mind provide करता है so school systems and children's education and their adaptation back to the home country that is also that should uh, that should be part of the repatriation program uh, then another aspect of uh, the repatriation process and uh, that should be included in the repatriation program is uh, talking about the workplace changes. Uh, it is possible then when a person comes back from a long term assignment on an, uh, interna uh, on an international assignment, for example, uh, if a person is coming back after five years, 
इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज चेंज ऑन वेरियस डिफरेंट डायमेंशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का कल्चर चेंज हुआ है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का स्ट्रक्चर चेंज हुआ है वहाँ पे लाइन ऑफ कंट्रोल लाइन ऑफ अथॉरिटी चेंज हुई है वहाँ पे सेंट्रलाइजेशन डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन का डायमेंशन चेंज हुए हैं डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी की गई है नॉलेज ट्रांसफ़र के डिफरेंट कम्युनिकेशन चैनल्स डेवलप हुए हैं सो ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं जो डिफ्रेंसेज क्रिएट हुए हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर वर्क प्लेस चेंजेस के बारे में उसको बताया जाए और उसके बारे में उसकी ओरिएंटेशन की जाए देन अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट इज स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट एंड दैट इंक्लूड्स कम्युनिकेशन रिलेटेड ट्रेनिंग बिकॉज वेन अ पर्सन इज डिसप्लेस फ्राम वन प्लेस एंड कम्स बैक वंस अगेन Uh, that all creates a lot of stress and that creates stress from the aspect of communication because uh, you don't have the same people working around you you don't have the same network you don't have the same kind of communication dynamics it's possible that the dynamics have changed so that can lead to stress so communication uh, training of the person is very much important which could lead to stress management as well Uh, then another aspect is uh, uh, is very important, which is establishing networking opportunities. So it's very important for the organization to uh, to provide networking opportunities to the person. So that can be done in a number of ways. It is possible that when a person comes back, his return is celebrated, and the entire organization or the entire unit is uh, invited on. Uh, on that particular function and well he gets to meet all the people who have moved in or who've changed places or who have uh, uh, who who are, who are the new uh, environment in which he is going to work uh, so that is one possible way of developing the networking opportunity and then help in forming new social contacts uh, because uh, when a person um, leaves a place the social contacts are lost and when he comes back it's not necessary that he would gain access to or he would have uh, the same ties with old friends social circle social network so uh, the organization can actually provide help in developing a new social circle new social contacts for the person who is repatriating uh, repatriating back to the home country so these are the various topics which should be part of an effective repatriation program and can lead to an effective repatriation process of international assignees